Hey, welcome to my channel, Josh Gordon Music. This is a Line 6 Podgo video, and it's about the Podgo Edit uh, desktop application. So what we're going to look at quickly, it's pretty short and simple, is using the uh, controller assignment, uh, I guess we'll call it a pop-up menu that comes when you select uh, these boxes here, right beside each parameter. So if you're like me, you like using, you know, the Podgo Edit um, for doing all your, your preset uh, creations and editing and whatnot. But also learn the unit, learn how to manipulate all the dials and what all the, learn all the functions on the unit itself as well. Because when you're in a live gig situation, odds are you're not going to be having a, your computer or a laptop hooked up to this. So you need to know how to edit on the fly. But when we're in our happy place, in our studio or home, whatever, bedroom, and we have access to the Podgo Edit. It's a wonderful tool. And this is an easy, quick way to assign a controller to change parameters. So again, you know, click on the box that's beside the parameter, and then you get this, you know, select a controller uh, pop-up menu that comes. So I want to control the drive, and let's say I want foot switch four. So now we got foot, foot switch four is now assigned to this parameter to change it. So let's play. I think it's you know it's in between right now, so it'll be a little little grit, but mostly clean. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to change this parameter uh, to get more grit. So let's get this little bottom arrow because this is going to be our minimum value so let's keep it let's put it to five okay and then let's say the max value uh let's put it to eight okay hit the switch okay now you see it's working now we should hear a difference Right, so that's basically it. That's all I wanted to show you in this video is that there's a quick way to do this because you know you can turn the dial and you you you, you know press it down and hold it to get these you know these red numbers to, to turn white in brackets and that means you know you're 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 changing a parameter here, but that's an easy way to do it again, and you know just you know let's uh, let's let's say we we we're doing the drive, and then we want to let's say we want to in increase the treble as well. Not that you really want to maybe on an AC30, but let's do that. So again, click on the box, assign foot switch four. So let's say that we keep this treble the way it is here minimum. And then let's say for the maximum, we wanna, we wanna brighten it. Okay, so now you see both, you see both of these things change, the drive and the treble every time you're hitting it. So let's, Okay, so that's it. So that's it. It's like, again, a quick little easy thing for most, this is for beginners and, or, or somebody who's, who still hasn't had enough time to, to really play and to get into the, uh, the bells and whistles of this wonderful tool, the Podgo Edit. All right. Well, again, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, to all the new viewers, thanks for checking this video out. And I hope that you hit that subscribe button. And for anyone who hits that subscribe button or if you're a subscriber, but haven't yet, ring that notification bell, click on that too, so you'll know when the next video comes out. Okay, take care. Thanks. Bye.